Hi, I'm Elizabeth and I'm the activist mommy. Well, today we're going to be talking about gender insanity. Someone please tell me I'm just dreaming and I simply haven't woken up from a very bad dream. Our youth culture is drowning in an identity crisis. We've got grown men saying they identify as six-year-old girls, men identifying as aliens and even dragons, women identifying as cats. <laughs> Moms and daughters transitioning to the opposite sex together. We've got guys going into girls' locker rooms and bathrooms, and drag queens are reading stories to children in public libraries, thereby normalizing this behavior of men dressing up in high heels, a wig, a bra, and copious amounts of makeup. Whatever happened to puppet shows and craft day at the library? Why do we need to bring in kitty porn and tampon and Lucy fur? to accommodate the 0.001% of the population. Then we have the LGBTQQIAAPP acronym. Yes, that's right. I'll have to read this list since I can't keep up with all of it. It's lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer, questioning, intersex, asexual, pansexual, that means anything and everything, polysexual, this includes polygamy and orgies, kink is the K. This would include bondage, spanking people, public sex, whatever floats your boat, that would come under the label as kink. Then we have the pronoun police, and they want to make sure that we say Zy self and air self and verse self and ter self oh! instead of the homophobic pronouns that we used to use. Now, if you don't abide by these gender sensitive policies and pronouns, you're called a racist, misogynistic, homophobic, privileged bigot. March's edition of Time Magazine said this every different type of identity that exists should be supported. Look, people. This is stupid. This is literally one of the most embarrassing moments in our nation's history. We have become so open-minded that our brains are falling out. Here's the fact. If Bruce Jenner, who now calls himself Caitlyn Jenner, were to commit a crime and leave DNA evidence behind, investigators would send a sample to the lab and determine that the perpetrator was either a male or a female. The evidence would show that she is a what? a biological male. Yes, that's right. I'm sorry if you don't think that's sensitive, but no matter how big Bruce makes his boobs and how high the heels are he wears, Bruce will always be Bruce. He can't change that. You see, truth and reality and science really mean nothing to the left. People are fighting their true biological identity and Hollywood and the media are trying to pressure us to celebrate this. No, I'm not going to celebrate your mental disorders. I'm not going to celebrate your sin. I'm not going to celebrate your departure from reality. I'm going to invite you to embrace who you really are, who God made you to be. When you allow for anything other than biological male and biological female, it's banana land. Gender insanity is ruining our nation and our credibility as a people. If you agree, please like my page to become my friend and share this video with the hashtag gender insanity. Thanks and God bless.